Almost four years ago, we went into election day completely underestimated. Despite what is being said again this year, I know, just as you do, that Americans will go to the polls and vote on the behalf of their families, our economy, our national security, and our children's future. To vote for those ideals is not a partisan vote. It is a common sense vote, because those are goals and hopes that we all believe in. I believe that we need my husband's leadership now more than ever in order to bring us back once again to the greatest economy and the strongest country ever known. God bless you all, your families, and God bless the United States of America. Trump. She set such a different tone than her husband sets. Uh, she talked about how he is honest. She said you, he deals with you in total honesty. He is authentic. He's not a politician. He's a man of action. She said that she was confident that they would be given four more years. And I, I thought back to uh, a moment in an interview she did in 2015, and she was asked if she thought her husband would win. And she said, if Donald runs, he will win. And she has a, a lot of confidence uh, in her husband. She also, I thought it was interesting, touched on COVID in a way that has not happened prior to this in, in the last couple of days. She said, it has impacted all of us. And I have the deepest sympathy and prayers for all who have been affected. I know we are anxious and helpless, and you are not alone, which is not something that we've heard in that way, I think, from, from others so far, Brad. There's nothing like this scene, the colonnade there, the Rose Garden, all of the people, the crowd. She dealt with racial unrest, saying, we aren't proud of parts of our history, uh, adding that we need to stop the violence and looting being done in the name of justice. And like any script or weaving stories together, you can see the naturalization ceremony at the White House with uh, now American citizens from Bolivia, Lebanon, India, Sudan, and Ghana tying to her life story and studying for the test in 2006, becoming an American citizen, which she called one of the proudest moments of her life. First Lady Melania Trump advocating for her president saying, and her husband saying it's time for him to be elected again. So shall we bring in some final thoughts?